So Jupiter just confirmed there will be an upcoming airdrop for Jupiter users, and if it's anything like the Jito token, it'll be worth thousands of dollars. Jupiter is one of the largest and most versatile decks built on Solana, and developers are looking to airdrop the JUP token to promote ecosystem growth. So by utilizing the various functions within the Jupiter DEX, early users will be rewarded with an upcoming airdrop of the JUP token. So today I wanted to cover a complete guide on how to use the Jupiter exchange and how to make yourself eligible for the upcoming airdrop. We have a lot to cover. Let's get started. So like I mentioned, Jupiter has formally announced a airdrop for upcoming users, and this is in order to promote its community usage and its upcoming growth. So the best way to increase your chances of a bigger airdrop is to utilize all the functions within the DEX. So in order to participate, you will need a compatible wallet. I do recommend the Phantom wallet. And on here, you definitely want to load your wallet with some Solana token. You can send it from your favorite broker, such as Coinbase. So the website is jup.ag and you want to connect your wallet, select Phantom. So the first thing you can do is use the swap function. So here you can convert some Solana into another different type of coin. So in this case, you can convert it for something like Bonk or even Whiff. Meme coin has been gaining popularity lately. So here we can convert some of this into the new meme token. So hit swap and hit confirm. Great, that was successful. That was lightning fast. And you can check your wallet again. Do you see that now you have some of this dogwood hat token? And you can also convert your soul into some USDC. So let's try this, 0.20. Great, swap that. Confirm the transaction. Awesome, now we have USDC in our wallet. Next function you can use is limit order. So here you can buy Solana at a limit price. So for example, Solana token is currently at a price of 103 with 78. So you can set it at a precise limit amount amount at which rate you want to buy Solana. So let's say I have $10 worth of USDC, but instead of 103 at its current rate, I want to buy it at a cheaper price. So let's just say for example, 100. So when Solana hits 100 per SOL token, I'm going to trigger $10 worth of purchase price at $100 per coin. The idea here is to trigger a limit buy so you get in at a better rate. So we can try this and hit place limit order again, confirm one more time. Cool, very easy. Now, dollar cost average, DCA. So this is a similar strategy to limit orders. You can slowly buy Solana over time using USDC at the best rate. So over time, it's buying Solana in small chunks. And the idea is the algorithm on the back end will execute the buy purchase when the Solana token dips in price. So as the price is dipping, it is buying the dip with your USDC. And the idea is over time, you are buying at the best rate and not at the top and you can set a time interval if you want to purchase it every day once a week over a span of however many weeks you would like so if you want a dollar cost average into solana over time you would start the dca and execute that function next we have bridge so with bridge you can bridge other networks such as ethereum into the solana token so as you know the usdc token is compatible with both ethereum and solana so you can in theory send 100 usdc from the ethereum network into the solana network Keep in mind when you bridge tokens like this, there is slippage and there is cross-chain fees. So Ethereum is pretty expensive to transact in. I would recommend using something cheaper such as Avalanche. So Avalanche does have USDC compatibility and from there you can bridge some USDC from there into Solana. You can even pick something cheaper like Polygon or Optimism. And so on the back end, Jupiter will find the best bridging algorithm for you, the cheapest, and execute this bridge. So at the time of filming, the bridge is the cheapest bridge for Solana so far, but you're free to pick a different bridge if you would like, such as Mayan. And when you're ready to bridge, just go ahead and click on use Mayan and this would execute the bridge for you. And lastly, we do have our perpetual section. This is the latest and newest section for Jupiter. So perpetual is Solana perps, and here you can either long or short Solana. Personally, I'm long and bullish on Solana. And here you can bet on the price either increasing or decreasing. So for example, I'm gonna long Solana here and I'm gonna into 0.01 as an example and leverage i'm going to keep it conservative at 1.1 you can always go crazy leverage but i wouldn't recommend that so the entry price is the current solana price at 103 per coin the liquidation price if solana for some reason were to fall at nine dollars and 73 cents that's over a 90 percent crash of its current price you would get liquidated but it's a very black swan situation it would take something catastrophic for solana to crash by 90 percent so 
again, I'm comfortable with this leverage at only 1.1x. Click on long sold, confirm the transaction. Great, and the position has been opened. Now, if you scroll lower, you see your current position down here and you're always free to close it by clicking close. This would close out your long position. And one more thing we can look at is this earn section. So earn is the Jupiter liquidity provider pool. So here you can provide liquidity for the various coins. So for providing liquidity, you will earn a interest rate for depositing your coins. So at the time of filming, Solana is maxed out. The assets under management here are fully capped for Solana. Currently there's over 11 million deposited of Solana in this pool. ETH is closely approaching that utilization rate as well. So we'll go here and we'll select USDC and we'll go ahead and deposit $20. So at the time of filming, it looks like the USDC pool is also hit its AUM limit. So I won't be able to deposit in here. So definitely check back here to see when one of these pools frees up so you can provide liquidity and start earning interest in the JLP token. JLP meaning Jupiter Liquidity Provider. And once you start earning interest on that, you can sell those JLP back into USDC or Solana, whichever token you would like. So there you have it, a straightforward way in how to use the Jupiter Dex and how to increase your chances for the upcoming airdrop. You definitely want to use every one of these functions in order to increase the amount of JUP token you will be receiving. Time is of essence, you don't want to miss out. So definitely keep up to date on when the snapshot and airdrop will happen on their official X page at Jupiter Exchange. I'm super bullish on what Solana is working on and don't forget to check out my other videos on the other airdrops happening within the Solana ecosystem. So what do you think about Jupiter Exchange? Let me know in the comment section and as always if you have any questions please leave a question in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.